Welcome back to the final part of chapter six, where I'm going to set you two challenges. If you're feeling up for it, if you feel like you've learned enough. So as soon as it's done saving my out of date packages, typical, uh, here's what I want you to do. First of all, I need you to organize your outliner. So you can see I've done that here. So everything is now in folders, which is as it should be. It means that I can turn things off. For instance, I can now turn the effects off and I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. I have left the ship out and the landscape, the foliage and the play start because I couldn't think of a nice folder for them. So they're still out. So that's uh, challenge one, put everything into folders. Challenge two, though, is what's happening here with these rocks. So if you remember earlier, really, we said some bits might not match up very well like this. And I said we'd sort it later. And what I meant by that is that you're going to sort it for the challenge. So what I've done is I've sourced some rocks. I've placed them very thoughtfully so that you now can't see where that joins going to happen. I've also placed some more around them so that they don't stand out. So you've got some more going on here. And I've also sorted out the collisions on them because they weren't great. And so that now just looks okay. I haven't yet, but I'm probably going to place some throughout the level as well, just poking out of the ground a little bit. Maybe that's something you could do with a foliage tool. But that is your challenge, and that are, that's both of your challenges. So organize everything and use some rocks to cover up any areas that were already not particularly well matched up. And then you're done, and I will see you in the next step, where I think we might do a little bit more gameplay. So I look forward to seeing you in chapter seven. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.